Oh, I'm tired as fuck. I'm on my way to work. Walking to work now. Just walking all over work. Tired as fuck. Taking a smoke break before I gotta do the trash. Once again, doing all the trash, doing all the work. Never gets old. Oh yeah, it does. Had a guy just threatening to fight me. I told him to come at it, come back at 10 and I was gonna knock his ass out on the sidewalk. And he stormed out like a little bitch. This dude is in a cape. It's Robin. Hey guys, Alan Kirby here. So guess what? Kyle didn't show up. So guess who came home? me I came home I wasn't staying fuck that shit I flat out told him I wasn't staying like 10 o'clock hit Kyle's still nowhere to be found so I was like look I'm not staying it's not my problem people don't know how to come to fucking work. I'm tired of that place. I've been there since two. Okay? For one thing, I got stuck with the new girl again. Who watched me fucking work. I was busting my ass sweating. I was outside sweating my ass off. Sick to my fucking stomach doing everything. And she's up there on the counter taking selfies. She's in the bathroom taking fucking selfies. What in the Fuck! So I was already mad about that. Okay? Then they didn't load the safe with ones. So then we ran out of ones. So I had to get creative and start giving people rolls of quarters and fucking all kinds of other dumbass shit. Okay? Then this one fucking asshole comes up. And he gives me this fucking little raggedy ass Newport coupon. Okay. The coupon wouldn't scan. So I kept trying for him. Trying to be nice. And he said, there's a way you can do it on the computer. I said, no, there's not a way you can do it on the computer. Fucking genius. Why don't you not tell me how to do my fucking job? Because I've been there for fucking over two years. Do you work there? No, you don't, you piece of fucking shit. So don't tell me what the fuck to do at my own fucking job. So... He's like, well, you're not doing nothing right, uh, you dumbass, blah, blah, blah. I said, excuse me, motherfucker. I said, you need to slow your fucking roll. He goes, I'll punch you in the face. I said, oh. Well, at first I didn't hear him, so I was like, what'd you say? And, and Shakima thought she heard it too. But she was just like, no way he really just said that. So he goes, he says it again. He says, I'll punch you in the fucking face. So I said, yo, man, I get off at 10 o'clock. You're more than uh, welcome to come and, and punch me in the face. So I said, be back up here at 10. I'll leave you sleeping on the fucking sidewalk. So pretty much he doesn't show up, of course. Still anyway, 10 o'clock rolls around. Then 11 o'clock rolls around. Still no faggot ass Kyle. <laughs> so. I start instantly messaging the manager. I'm like yo I'm not. I am told you I'm not staying. Like I'm tired of going above and beyond for this place. Like I, I've had enough. All, every day I run myself ragged. While everybody else just stands the fuck around. I was like it ain't happening. I was like, sorry to hurt your feelings, but it ain't happening. So yeah, I bounced. I said, fuck it. My cat's chasing this little ass baby bunny. But I said, I'm not taking it. I'm tired of working my ass every fucking day while everybody just stands the fuck around 
I came in today and uh, the fucking managers are just sitting in the office talking. That's all they're always fucking doing or sleeping. Because they make me do all the fucking work. And fuck you. Never in my fucking life have I had to run myself so fucking ragged. And I've had a freaking shit fucking week. Like, every week's getting shittier and shittier. Like, I gotta find a new job before I end up killing myself. So, I was hoping that guy was gonna come back at 10. Because, oh my god. I was gonna take out every bit of frustration I had in my body on him. I was gonna knock him out. I was gonna leave him asleep on that fucking sidewalk, man. I'm just tired of customers fucking with me and thinking they can talk to you any kind of way they want to fucking talk to you because you work at Royal fucking Farms. Motherfucker, I'm completely different outside of work. I will fucking punch you in the face and ask questions later. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. These fucking cocksuckers think they're entitled fucking assholes. Why? Because you're a fucking loser who comes to Royal Farms every fucking day because you don't have a fucking life. You don't have a girlfriend. You fucking jerk off in your shower. You probably lick it off your fucking hands, you sick fuck. Let me tell you something. Okay? Because I'm behind that register, you think I'm soft? Come fucking test me outside of work. I'm not trying to be a tough guy or anything, but I will fight you. I don't give a fuck. If you think I'm going to cower down, you are fucking crazy. And who knows? This boy might teach you a few things about fighting in the process. I'm tired of these fucking customers every fucking stupid fucking day in my fucking face. Doing, saying and asking for stupid shit. Motherfuckers can't even work their fucking car. That thing will beep for like 10 minutes. And they sit there and just stare off into space like they're fucking retarded. The machine's telling you to take your card out, genius. Why the fuck are you staring at it? And they'll look at it and I'll be like, it's okay to put your card in now. Do I have to wait for the blue? No, you don't. And they still continue to stare at it. You're good. Put your fucking card in before I put my foot in your ass. God. Never in my life. I kind of hated people before because I like to think of myself as a loner. There's very few people in this world that I like. Okay? Very few. I'm pretty much a loner. That is why I'm a loner. I don't fuck with people. And I thought I hated people before. Oh my god, I really hate people now. I hate people now more than I've ever hated people in my life. I'm tired of these fucking cocksucking motherfuckers talking shit to me all the time. Like, notice that motherfucker didn't come back at 10. Because all these people around here are all fucking mouth. I'm not about mouth. I'll fight you. I don't care. You might whip my ass. I don't fucking care. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not claiming to be some tough guy. But I will fight you. I'm from an old school different breed of guy. Like. I believe in being a fucking man's man. And standing up for yourself. Not cowering down and letting people talk shit to you. But fuck that. I'm tired of these fucking customers thinking because they come there every day they're fucking entitled to something. Man, fuck you. You're entitled to my dick. So I feel bad that the assistant manager has to stay, but fuck it. I'm tired of that place fucking with me and fucking me in my ass every chance they get. So fuck it. I'm tired of hiring these motherfuckers who don't come to work and are lazy pieces of shit. You hire 20 some year olds. No offense because there are some like Mikey at work. There are some 20 some year olds that are responsible and are fucking smart. Mikey's one of them. 
but most of these other 20 some year olds fucking suck balls they have no work ethic they're like oh i just won't show up to work that's fucking smart because i don't need a job kyle's got a kid now what the fuck are you gonna do and the thing is i like kyle don't get me wrong i like kyle but tonight he tried to fuck me and i don't take that too fucking kindly But you tried to straight up fuck me tonight by not calling and not showing up. And these stupid dickhead customers can tell you're upset and oh, what's wrong? We're not having a good day? No, motherfucker. I'm tired of seeing you every day. Here's an idea. Stay the fuck out of my face for one day. Never had a job in my life where there's somebody constantly in my fucking face. It's a goddamn gas station. What I wouldn't do to have one day where some dumbass motherfucker wasn't in my face. But no, we don't get that liberty. We constantly get asked stupid fucking questions. Like this fucking old guy puts his money in the lottery machine and then he just keeps walking away from it. And he told me to get his fucking tickets out of the machine. Meanwhile, I got a fucking line. The whole time. I'm like, dude, I don't have time to get your fucking lottery tickets. You see I'm the only one on register. We're fucking busy. What do you want me to do? Get your own fucking lottery tickets or fuck off. Like, I decided... I was just going to upload a skit tonight, but fuck it. I wanted to vlog. Because this shit is getting real fucking old. I'm tired of this job fucking me in my ass. This job has made me absolutely fucking miserable. And when a job makes me fucking miserable, that's when I know it's time to fucking biz out. Because I am tired of this shit. You know, I've had jobs that I fucking loved. I worked at Dollar General before I worked here. I worked at Dollar General while I worked here. You know, while I worked here. And I fucking love Dollar General. I wish I still fucking worked there. I fucking... And now my girlfriend works there. Yeah, the money wasn't the best. They weren't going to promote me. They weren't really going to give me too many raises. But at least I didn't go home fucking wanting to kill myself every fucking day. And that's exactly how I feel at this place. My depression, my nervousness has went through the fucking roof. Because every night you do not know what you're going to walk into. Mess wise and fucking dumbass customer wise. Like there's freaking creeps. There's fucking assholes. Every night I got to deal with creeps and fucking assholes. And it gets old. And then they have the nerve to ask you. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Yes. You, you are what's wrong with me. Seeing you every fucking day. And you wait till I have to get shit done. And you come in and you take fucking four hours to pick out a pack of fucking Starburst. You're there for four hours and you come up with one goddamn thing of fucking Starburst. Which, by the way, Starburst are my fucking favorites. Uh-uh, I love Starburst. That's besides the fucking point. Four hours to get a bag of fucking, a little fucking thing. You don't even get a bag of Starburst. You get the little tiny fucking thing. Star Took you four hours to get Starburst? What in the fuck? This place, this job is fucking stupid. Then I got the guy in the cape telling me, to buy his rap album or look it up on YouTube. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna... I don't like rap, A. I think it's garbage. And B, you're fucking weird. So get the fuck away from me. I have better sense than to listen to rap. Rap is garbage. Rap is noise. It's all the same repetitive bullshit. And everybody that listens to rap is some ignorant, cocky, little shit. They think they're fucking hard. They think they're fucking gangster. And they're really fucking gay. Pull up your pants and read a fucking book. Oh.
I'm about to get off here, guys. I've had a shit fucking night. I'm going to finish watching Ring of Honor. But I hope you guys had a better fucking Saturday than I did. Hopefully you guys relaxed today and chilled for at least... For one of us. If it wasn't me, at least one of you. But, uh... Yeah. I've just... I've had it. I'm at my wit... I'm at my fucking wit's end. I can't take it anymore. Uh... Ooh, I wish I got my shirt back up in 10. I've, oh, I have so much frustration built up in me right now, guys. I'm about to fucking break. I am to my fucking breaking point. What you do when you can't take shit any fucking more and you try to be cool and you try to be fucking nice. What do you fucking do? I don't know guys I'm sorry for being like this tonight I've I'm just I'm fed up I'm fed up I tried to do this channel to just talk about shit and try to make myself feel better and my life is on a fucking downward spiral I have to find a new place of employment Every other job I've had, I've remained positive. I've been happy. This job just makes you... It just... It makes you crazy. People cursing at you all the time. Fucking weirdos. It, you can only take so much. You can only take so fucking much before you start questioning your sanity. Well, guys. For now, I'm about to get off here. Well... It's now officially Sunday morning. And, uh... I just need a day to recoup. So I'm going to take this Sunday to recoup. I know they're going to try to call me in, but I can't. I can't come in. Uh, I'm at my fucking wit's end. I've had the worst week of my life. While Kyle fucking tried to fuck me again tonight after he's had four for, this will be his fifth night off wow Kyle it must be nice to not have to work for five fucking days cause I wouldn't fucking know I don't have any kids but I know work is a goddamn responsibility that you need to fucking have a kid I work to feed my fucking animals they come before I do they're not my children, but I know that I need money in order to get them food and treats. <sighs> Alright guys, well I'm really getting off here now. Just had a bad night. Hopefully you guys had a good one. Hopefully my Sunday gets better and hopefully you guys have a nice, peaceful Sunday. And if you're uh, going to church this morning or whatever and you watch this before church, if anybody watches it... Sorry for the language. I'm just at my fucking wits end right now. Alright guys. Well, uh, I'm off here. I'm Curb. I'm losing my shit. But for now, I'm out. Have a good one, guys. Alright, so I've calmed down a little bit. I know I said I was signing off, but I kind of felt bad that I was ranting there, but like I had just literally gotten off, so I was still a little bit stressed. A little bit calmer now. Got some medicine in me. It's just I feel like enough's enough. Um, I feel like I need a change of scenery because I see a change in myself. And I don't think it's a change for the good. It's way more stressed and grouchy than I need to be. But if you guys out there, whoever watches this or whatever, anybody who's ever had a job uh, that they've hated and made them miserable will understand where I'm coming from. I just, I gotta get out. Because I can feel myself slipping away from reality. I'm used to so much weird shit now. It's like. 
I'm becoming crazy. Like, I'm losing my shit. And I can feel myself losing my shit. And that's never good when you can feel yourself losing your shit. I mean, there are things in life that make me happy, but they've kind of been put on hold because I always feel grouchy and angry all the time. For one thing, I don't sleep like a normal person. Another thing, I'm up all night and I'm constantly getting disrespected by people at my job and customers. So, employees and customers. Um, we don't work as a team there. Everybody's out for themselves. And I'd rather myself work as a team than every man for themselves. Because if everybody works for, works as a team and works for Team Rofo, is what our Chicken Palooza shirts say, Team Rofo, then, you know, things would be a lot more, a lot more simple there. There, everybody would pull their own weight. Everybody would make sure things are done because, like I did for Kyle tonight, who didn't show. I made sure everything was immaculate for Kyle, and he didn't show. And I thought me and Kyle were cool. Like, I always smoked with him, whatever. Like, I thought me and Kyle were cool. I've gotten him, I've gotten him stuff, and, you know, I feel like he just slapped me in my face by not showing up because... Because I'm cool with Kyle. I would do whatever it took to get there. If my car broke down. And, and the guy that sometimes comes in in the morning. Is friends with me and Kyle. And he's given other people rides to work before. He would have gave Kyle a ride. So it's not like you know Kyle didn't have options. I just feel like as friends he kind of slapped me in my face and I almost walked out tonight and just said fuck it but Mikey was there so I couldn't walk out and leave Mikey by himself if it would have been anybody else I was half tempted it's because it was that kind of day I don't want to lose my job I need that job but it just wasn't my day uh, but I'm relaxed now Watched a little bit of Ring of Honor. I still haven't finished it yet. I've watched like one match. Which was Rhett Titus versus Shane Taylor. It's the only match I've watched so far. But uh. I don't know. I'm about to just sign off here for good now. I just wanted to get back on here now that I'm a little, a little calmer. Cooler heads have prevailed for now. But uh. Have a good Sunday guys. I'm going to relax, and hopefully you relax. All right, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of your night. I'm Curb, and as always, I'm out.